Okay, what we're going to do first here is um, in Quantum GIS adding a table of coordinates and then saving them to a shape file. So here we we'll go into uh, open up a uh, Excel document with coordinates. Um, in order to open them in Quantum GIS, we first need to save them as a uh, a tab delimited text file. So I'll just go here and then save it as a text file. And close it. And then inside, if you open up um, QGIS, you can go to this uh, tab called Add Delimited Text Layer. And this basically allows you to open up the text file and then pull in the coordinates into Quantum GIS. So we'll go to this text layer, this text file here, and add it. And uh, we notice that here it's already um, denoted for the tab uh, delimiter, so we're good there. And you can see kind of a sample of what's going on at the bottom here. You can see that it has the x and y coordinates, and then it also has a couple of other tables of information. And the, the thing, the important part here is to just select the X field and then the Y field for your coordinates in order to uh, get those to basically pull into Quantum GIS and show up as points. So we will click OK on this one. And then <coughs> we just need to define the um, coordinate system here. And so we'll use for, because we're in Mexico here, we'll use WGS 1984, uh, UTM Zone uh, 14 North. Okay. And then the points show up as just a, a live layer in, uh, in Quantum GIS. In order to actually um, save them, you're going to go to right click the points and save as and then you can save them as a shapefile and you can give them you can save them whatever name you want and then we'll add them to the map when we're done and there you have it, you have your um, Basically, your shape file of points that are now uh, you can now manage within Quantum GIS.